Hello everybody, welcome in. If you've never been here before, my name is Heather Spears. In today's video, we have something so exciting planned. Now I am making Ariana Grande's VMA um, performance outfit. So she did a performance with Lady Gaga for their single, Rain On Me. And it was a beautiful performance and I just felt like this particular outfit was so cool. I wanted to make one for myself. So sit back and let's get started. So it is the first steps of making our Ariana Grande uh, VMA outfit. And usually at this point in the video, I'm telling you guys about some kind of crazy shortcut I've concocted to make the process go quicker. Today, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm starting right here on my mannequin and I am going to be draping a muslin fabric on the mannequin to get the right shape. Now from this point, I am going to be making what this all is, is actually I'm making a pattern and making a pattern for this piece is super important because it is a piece all about fit. The fit needs to be on point with this one. It needs to fit exactly right because the fabric that I'm going to be using does not have any stretch to it so it needs to be exact and it's kind of a revealing top and stuff so it needs to really fit where it should. So that's the main reason why I'm making a pattern for this. Now kind of a bonus to making a pattern is making an official pattern gives me the ability to remake the piece if I want to. So if I ever want to revisit or even alter or do anything like that I'll always have the pattern to refer back to and always be able to come back to this piece if I want to which is just kind of a comfort thing for the future if I ever want to, you know, use it again for any reasons. So I'm just starting by putting a generic shake muslin fabric on my mannequin where I'm going to want to start to draw my pattern out. Then I take a pin and draw out the right shape of the pattern. Once I draw the right shape, I cut it out and really do the process over and over again until it starts to really take shape. For some of the pieces I'll measure out beforehand, but it's really just the same process. Finally, the top is looking a lot more like Ariana Grande. Then I start on the skirt and like I said, it's just the same process. The benefit of using a muslin fabric is that it is a lot cheaper than the fabric that we're going to be using for the final piece. So this is where we make all of our tweaks and stuff in the design so that we don't waste any fabric later on. And with that, our pattern draft is finished and this is what it looks like. But we're not done with the pattern yet. Next, I take off all of the pattern draft pieces that I just made, then line them up on paper and draw them out. Once I have all the pieces drawn out, I cut them out. And after all the pieces are cut out, this is the official pattern that I'm going to be using to cut all of my final fabric out of. So now that we have the pattern all finished, it's time to cut the pieces on our actual fabric. Now, before I get started in cutting, I want to show you guys two different fabric options that I have. So I have this really beautiful um, purple snakeskin fabric that I am in love with. And I also have this other purple, um, it's kind of like a false, uh, false leather fabric here, but it's it, both fabrics that I have for a choice are very close to what Ariana Grande wears on stage. Now, the plus side for this fabric is it has, you know, a print, which hers actually has a texture on it. And the print is very close. I think hers might be crocodile texture maybe. And this is snakeskin, so that's very close. And then this one, I really think that the color is a lot more accurate to what she wears. But in choosing a fabric, I've thought about both of these fabrics and I really just want to go with the snakeskin one. I, I love it. It's much more my personal style and I like the shine and the gleam of it. So I'm going to choose this fabric as the actual fabric that we're going to make the design out of. The first step is taking my pattern pieces and laying them out on my fabric and pinning them as close as possible to save as much fabric as I can. Once all the pattern pieces are in place, I cut them out. Now that all the pattern pieces are cut out, I do keep them with their original pattern piece. That way I won't lose track when I'm sewing them together because there's a lot of pieces to this one. But before I start sewing, I change out my needle to something that could handle how thick this fabric is. Then I sew the pieces in place where they belong and occasionally revisit my mannequin just to keep everything in line. Throughout the process, I use a couple of tricks like using a safety pin to help turn straps inside out and not neglecting the importance of an iron. If you're familiar with sewing, you know that pressing pieces into place gives you a much cleaner finish. 
And before the piece is done, I add hooks and eyes to close the top and a zipper on the bottom. Okay, you guys, the piece is done. So this is the outfit and I am ready to put it on and style myself up in the best way possible because it just wouldn't be a complete video unless I tried it on and showed you guys exactly how it looks. <laughs> So it was so fun wearing this outfit. I had an absolute blast and you know, putting in the hair and doing all that stuff. It was just so fun. Now, I always get a lot of questions on what I do when I'm done with an outfit like this. And usually I figure out something, you know, something good to do with it. And in this one, I am going to give it away to one of my subscribers. So the way that I'm gonna give this away is a um, Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and actually limited. So if you're viewing this, enter now because I am going to limit you know, the amount of entries I get here. And I'm just doing that so that if you get entered, you have better odds of winning and stuff like that. So the way that I am doing this is, first of all, please subscribe to my channel. I wanna give this away to one of my subscribers, somebody that likes to come and join me and hang out because I always appreciate you spending your time here with me. Secondly, like this video and leave a comment telling me why you want to wear this or what you want to wear it to or something like that. Something along the lines of why this outfit would be super special for your wardrobe. Third, I have a form and I know nobody likes to fill out forms, that's so boring anyway. But I have a form and this is really strictly just so that I can contact you if you are the winner. So it just, just so I could do that, it's no other reason just so I know who's who and, and all that. So I am limiting this to the first 100 people to fill out that form. So once 100 people fill out that form, I will draw a random winner at that. And please also, before you know you, you enter this and stuff, read the description box below where I have a few other little tidbits of information that might be helpful for anybody who wants to enter. So definitely check out that description box. And yeah, so that's all you need to do to enter. Now, with all of that out of the way, I can't wait to get this out to somebody who's going to love wearing it and somebody who's a big fan and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to get this out to somebody and good luck. As always, thank you guys so much for spending the time with me today. I always love hanging out with you, talking to you and all of that. So thanks for coming. Until next time, everybody. Bye.